Remember the days of bank robberies with ski masks and getaway cars? Those were the times when robbers had to physically enter a bank, confront the staff and make a dramatic escape. It was risky, dangerous, and often ended in a high-speed chase with the police. Those are practically vintage crime now. The world has changed, and so has the nature of crime. The digital age has brought about a new breed of bank robbery. Today's heist happens online, where tech-savvy criminals, we call them hackers, target your bank accounts. These modern-day robbers don't need guns or masks. They use computers and the internet to infiltrate financial systems. These aren't guys in hoodies cracking codes in dark rooms. They're sophisticated operators using clever tricks to steal your hard-earned money. They work in teams, often in well-organized setups, and employ advanced technology to carry out their schemes. They're sophisticated operators using clever tricks to steal your hard-earned money. They might use phishing emails, malware, or even social engineering to gain access to your accounts. Think about it. Your money, your personal information, it's all online. Every transaction, every piece of data is stored digitally, making it a prime target for cyber criminals. This digital world, as convenient as it is, presents new vulnerabilities. The more we rely on technology, the more opportunities we create for hackers to exploit. Hackers exploit these weaknesses, using various methods to gain access to your financial life. They might breach a bank's security system, intercept your online transactions, or even steal your identity. But don't panic just yet. While the threat is real, there are ways to protect yourself. Knowledge is power, and understanding how these digital thieves operate is the first step in safeguarding your finances. Understanding how these digital thieves operate is the first step in protecting yourself. We'll break down the most common hacking techniques so you know what to watch out for. We'll delve into the most common hacking techniques, explore real-world examples, and show you how these cyber criminals execute their plans. From phishing scams to ransomware attacks, you'll learn how they operate and what you can do to stay safe and discuss how banks are beefing up security to keep your money safe. Financial institutions are constantly upgrading their security measures, implementing advanced technologies, and training their staff to detect and prevent cyber threats. By the end of this, you'll be well equipped to navigate the digital world and keep your finances out of the hands of these cyber crooks. Let's dive in. With the right knowledge and tools, you can protect yourself and your money from this new breed of bank robbery. Fishing is like tricking a fish with bait. Just as a fish is lured by a shiny object, you might be tempted by an email or website that looks legitimate. Hackers create fake emails or websites that look identical to your banks. They spend a lot of time and effort making these look convincing. These emails might warn of suspicious activity, urging you to click a link and verify your information. They often use urgent language to make you act quickly without thinking. Don't fall for it. That link? It leads to a fake site designed to steal your login credentials. The website may look exactly like your bank's, but it's a trap. They mimic your bank's website perfectly, making it hard to tell the difference. The logos, colors, and even the URL might look almost identical. You enter your username and password, thinking you're protecting your account, but you're handing it straight to the hacker. They now have access to your sensitive information. Remember, your bank will never ask for sensitive information through email. They have secure methods for handling your data. If you get an email that seems fishy, delete it immediately. Don't click on any links or download any attachments. When in doubt, contact your bank directly through their official phone number or website. Always verify the source before providing any personal information. Stay vigilant and protect your credentials. Malware is like a digital virus that infects your computer. It can come from malicious links, infected downloads, or even seemingly harmless websites. Once inside, it operates silently, recording your keystrokes, stealing passwords, and transmitting your financial information to the hacker. One common type is a keylogger. It records every key you press, including your bank account login details. Another is a Trojan horse, disguised as legitimate software but carrying malicious code. Protecting yourself requires a multi-pronged approach. Install a reputable antivirus software and keep it updated. Be cautious about the links you click and the files you download, and always be wary of suspicious emails or pop-ups. Social engineering is all about manipulation. 
Hackers exploit human psychology, using trickery and deception to gain your trust and extract sensitive information. They might call you pretending to be your bank, asking for your account details to verify a transaction. Or they might impersonate a colleague or friend, requesting access to your computer or online accounts. Remember, hackers are master manipulators. They'll create believable scenarios, playing on your emotions to lower your guard. Be wary of anyone asking for your personal or financial information, even if they seem legitimate. Verify their identity through official channels and never share sensitive details over the phone or email unless you're absolutely sure of the recipient. Man in the middle attacks, intercepting your connection. Imagine you're sending a confidential message to a friend but someone intercepts it, reads it, and even modifies it before it reaches your friend. That's a man in the middle attack. This type of cyber attack is more common than you might think and can have serious consequences for your privacy and security. Hackers can intercept your communication with your bank, especially if you're using public Wi-Fi, which is often unsecured. Public Wi-Fi networks, like those in coffee shops or airports, are prime targets for cyber criminals because they are easy to infiltrate. They can eavesdrop on your online banking session, stealing your login credentials and transaction details. Once they have this information, they can access your bank account, make unauthorized transactions, and even steal your identity. Think of it as a digital wiretap, intercepting your data before it reaches its intended destination. This means that any sensitive information you send over the internet, such as passwords or personal details, can be compromised. To avoid this, avoid using public Wi-Fi for online banking. It's always safer to use a secure private network when accessing sensitive information online. If you must use public Wi-Fi, use a virtual private network, or VPN, which encrypts your internet traffic, making it much harder for hackers to intercept. A VPN creates a secure tunnel for your data, ensuring that your online activities remain private and protected from prying eyes. Setting up a VPN is straightforward, and there are many reliable service providers available. By taking this extra step, you can significantly enhance your online security and protect your personal information from cyber threats. Real World Hacks Tales from the Trenches the methods we've discussed aren't just theoretical, they're happening every day, resulting in significant financial losses for individuals and institutions. In 2023, a phishing campaign targeted customers of a major US bank. The hackers sent out emails that looked identical to official bank communications, tricking thousands into revealing their login details. In another case, a group of hackers used malware to infiltrate the systems of a European bank stealing millions of dollars by transferring funds to dummy accounts. These real-world examples highlight the constant threat posed by hackers and the importance of staying vigilant. Fort Knox 2.0- How Banks Are Fighting Back The good news is that banks are not sitting ducks. They're investing heavily in security measures to protect your money. Multi-factor authentication, for example, requires you to enter a code from your phone or email in addition to your password, making it much harder for hackers to gain access, even if they have your login details. Banks are also implementing sophisticated fraud detection systems that analyze transactions in real time, flagging any suspicious activity. Biometric authentication, using your fingerprint or facial recognition, is also gaining traction, adding an extra layer of security. The cat and mouse game security versus ingenuity. It's a constant cat and mouse game. As banks bolster their defenses, Hackers devise new and creative ways to circumvent them. The methods we've discussed will continue to evolve, and new threats will emerge. That's the nature of the digital world, constantly changing and adapting. The key is to stay informed. Keep up to date on the latest security threats and best practices. Be proactive in protecting your information, and don't hesitate to contact your bank if you notice anything suspicious. Staying safe in the digital wild west. Navigating the digital world can feel like venturing into the Wild West. There are dangers lurking around every corner, but with the right knowledge and precautions, you can protect yourself and your finances. Be cautious, be informed, and be proactive. Remember, your online security is a shared responsibility. Banks are doing their part, and you need to do yours. By working together, we can make the digital world a safer place for everyone.